When God created all things, he instituted the family as a, uh, an organized group of people. A family is a basic, cohesive and integral part of a society. The emphasis on families is so large because of uh, the healthy relationships that are there within the family is what really determines the, uh, healthy, uh, the foundation of a healthy culture. Why is this so? Because the family is the first line of defense and uh, it is the family that actually protects, it is a family that helps the members to survive, to help the mem members to grow uh, in, in, their, in their lives. It is also a major source of uh, um, nurturance, it's a major source of emotional bonding, socialization as well as spiritual growth. When problems exist, it is a family that actually uh, is, is a real stable and constant support. So the overall growth of a uh, um, society is, is enhanced by enriching families that are there. Working as a counsellor in this area, I have seen that the family is, as an institution is the uh, place where the greatest form of attack happens. The world that we live in is uh, uh, increasing day by day with, with moral difficulties and uh, as a result of which marriage commitments are taken very lightly which leads to divorce, separation, betrayal and even and unfaithfulness. A families also uh, do have certain concerns uh, where addiction, uh, a fragmented value system, domestic violence, um, are other forms uh, such as the incompatibility of the couple to, to really communicate with each other, to be able to resolve their conflicts uh, objectively. So th these are the things that actually causes families to, to fall down into ruin. Technology also has compounded issues within the family where uh, family time is no more a uh, priority, but then um, things like uh, different forms of entertainment really takes precedence uh, rather than building relationships. Raising godly children has, uh, is meant to be one of the primary aspects in, in family life, but then that is taken a back seat with parents actually sweating after, um, after a career or after uh, materialistic goals. So when problems actually do occur in families, the members of the family, like the children, are the ones that great, greatly suffer because at, at a point of time they really don't know how to deal with others within, uh, outside. Just as I see it as a privilege, I also consider it a big responsibility to be called by God to work in this area. Uh, as Paul says in Ephesians, uh, for our struggles is not against flesh and blood, but it is against the uh, spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly, heavenly realms. Uh, when we see, when we look at this as a perspective, when we see this as a perspective, it is no longer uh, uh, the, the counseling skills or, or our techniques that we really need to draw, draw from, but it is really the the relationship that we need to build with Jesus Christ so that we uh, are able to discern his heart to know what we can do uh, and, and really work on what really burdens his heart. The Word of God is another weapon that people in this ministry can really use because the Bible so rightly says that all scripture is God-breathed and is useful for, uh, for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness so that the uh, servant of God can be uh, thoroughly equipped in every good work. It it is also crucial for those at this ministry to have a total dependence on the Holy Spirit because the Spirit is the one who gives wisdom, who gives understanding uh, and who gives counsel uh, and we are just his mouth, mouthpiece. Um, without the Holy Spirit, we would understand that you know we would probably get uh, nowhere. Uh, while we use the scripture and the principles of scripture for our direction, it is only prayer that gives us the power. While we may do many things that affect the head, it is only God who can affect the heart. The truth definitely is that only Jesus and his redemptive power can change situations within the family. Presenting uh, the reality of his love and of his grace to broken homes can change their hearts. In turn, they, all, they get to change their uh, broken lives because there is a lasting change just made by Jesus.